Hello students. So today is our second session of arithmetic progression. In the previous session we had learned about the description of arithmetic progression, what is that and what is the common difference and what is the sum of n terms. We also solved uh, some problems related to that. Okay. Today's objective is we will uh, see the graphical plot of arithmetic progression. We'll do a short activity, a short story based on the AP and we will solve some challenged questions based on this chapter. So, is there any graphical pattern you observe when the sequence is in the arithmetic progression? It's a set of numbers which is in already arithmetic progression like 12, 8, 4, 0, minus 4 and so on. So the first term is 12, second term is 8, third term is 4 and so on. So think about how can you plot the 10th term graphically. So this is your objective. Pause the video, think about that. So let's see how we can solve it with the help of the graph. For example, I'm plotting all the numbers like a x axis it is the first term that is the first term second term third term and we are plotting the values of first term value is 12 so you can see here 12 second term is 8 right the third term is uh, 4 and the fourth term is 0 okay and the fifth term is minus 4 so you can see that a specific pattern, so this number is uh, 1, 12, this, the first term is 1 whose value is 12, the second term is 8, the third term is 4, the fourth term is 0 and the fifth term is minus 4. So you can see there is a pattern, there is a straight line and this pattern is unique uh, in case of arithmetic progression. So you can see that there is a line which is very straight and it can form that set of numbers so this number is the term one this point is the term two this is the term three this is the term four and this is the term five okay so if your objective is to calculate the tenth or find out the tenth term you can just extrapolate the graph and you can find the tenth term here so here should be ten sixth term seventh term eighth term and so on so you have to calculate it based on the tenth so if you can see this is the this is up to this one uh, uh, division is one first term second term third term fourth term fifth term so we have got the fifth term as minus four so this one is minus four okay so in this way, 10th term means you have to find out where in this particular 10 number or 10 axis this line intersects. So that point, that value you have to find out using the graph. Write down your answers in the comments below and uh, you have to, let's see that how it goes. Secondly, this is a story time. We can see that math is fun and how we can make a story using arithmetic progression. This story is a mind story. The name of this story is Counting Chocolate Bars. Please listen to it. So one day, a 12 years old uh, Ganesh was in a grocery store with his father. Ganesh saw the chocolate bars stacked on a shelf in a pile away just like this figure you can see this figure then he asked Baba how many chocolate bars dad asked how many chocolate bars are there in the base Ganesh replied where in the bottom layer dad replied so then Ganesh replied that there are 10 bars in the base the dad immediately replied back, There are 55 chocolate bars. Ganesh was amazed by the dad's answer. Baba, how could you count it so fast? Oh, I just learned it in school and recently refreshed my memory. The dad replied. So he explained that there is one chocolate bar in the uppermost layer. 
So you can see there is one chocolate bar in the uppermost layer. Next, there is a two. Next, third layer has three chocolate bars. And fourth layer has four chocolate bars and so on. So the dad replied that you need to do is the sum of the arithmetic progression with the terms 1, 2, 3, 4, 10. Here you can see why it is an arithmetic progression because there is a common difference of 1 and the first term is 1. So he calculated the sum of the arithmetic progression using the formula n upon 2 is equal to 2a plus n minus 1 times d. So you can know that here is n is 10 because Ganesh replied that uh, number of layers are there 10 and 10 upon 2 is equal to 2 times 1. The first number is 1 plus n minus 1 is 9 times d. Okay, so d is again 1. So hence he calculated it mentally and he found out that the total number of small chocolates in the whole set of chocolate bars is 55. So Ganesh thanked his father and said that thank you Baba, it's very very helpful. I hope that you have learned from something from this story and I would like, I would very much appreciate that you also share your stories regarding related to the topic of arithmetic progression inside my comments. Now coming to the challenged questions. The first challenged question is in an AP. The sum of the first 10 terms is minus 150 and the sum of its next 10 terms is minus 550. So you have to find the arithmetic progression, the sequence of numbers. Okay, so let's start. So the sum of the first 10 terms, students, you know that the formula, right? What is the formula that uh, n by 2 is equal to 2a plus n minus 1 into d. So let's assume for the sequence is a1 plus a2 plus a3 we don't know that right to a10 for example so plus a10 that is uh, the sequence and this is the formula that we'll use okay so s10 is uh, is equal to we'll write simply the formula that is the 10 upon 2 times 2a right so 2a plus n minus 1 so n minus 1 will write 10 minus 1 times d right so, S10 value is given as minus 150. So, just we will write minus 150 there and we will simplify this RHS that is right hand side. It comes out to, to be 5 times 2A plus 9D. You can see 10 minus 1 becomes 9D. So, now uh, we will carry forward that is just we will do cross multiplication here. The 5 will come in the denominator, right? So, it will become 1 minus 150 upon 5 is equal to 2A plus 9D. So, you get one equation out of it. So, just simplify it. It becomes minus 330 is equal to 2a plus 90. We will name this equation as equation 1. Okay. So, just we will use this equation. Since there are two variables a and d, a and d are, um, so we need two equations to solve them. Right. So, next let's take the other part of the information. Now, the second information that is given is sum of its next 10 terms is minus 550 here it is very very important there is something hidden in it so whenever it is written that is some of the next 10 terms what is what comes into our mind that okay it should start from a11 plus a12 plus dot 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 to a20 is equal to minus 550 correct is very important thing that we need to remember that the whenever sn whenever we write sn in the formula it denotes the first term so first n terms so if you write s10 that means it denotes the first sum of the first 10 terms if you write s20 that means it is uh, denotes the sum of the first 20 terms and so on so whenever we write a11 to a20 we cannot put the formula of sn is equal to n by 2 um, is it n by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 into d because this term starts from a11 it is not not the first 10 terms it is the next 10 terms okay so we have to put a trick here we can write the sum of the first 20 terms okay which is a1 to a20 minus we can write a1 to a10 so that we can write s20 minus s10 what does it give you can imagine that it gives you the sum of the next 10 terms that is a11 to a20 right 
so if you can see here what is that a1 to a20 minus how it, how you can just simplify it here that a1 plus a2 plus a dot 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 a20 minus now you open the brackets here so you get minus a1 minus a2 and every sign changes to minus a10 so you can see that the a10 um, whatever terms are there in the first parenthesis they cancels out because this includes a1 so a1 will cancel out a2 will cancel out similarly up to a10 it will cancel out so what will be remaining here you can see that remaining will be a11 plus a12 now as i told that this is s20 because it's the sum of the first 20 terms minus this is the s10 okay and this is given as minus 550 okay now further we can write now we can apply the formula since it is the first term, so you can apply 20 upon 2 plus uh, times 2a plus 20 minus 1 times d. Just add this, put the formula minus, you know the value of S10, you can put it right as minus 150. So you can just put the value or total value as minus 550. S20 because minus 550 is the sum of the next 10 terms. So you can write it like, like that here. Now just simplify it, 10 upon 2 becomes 5, is equal to 2a plus 19d minus, now this value, this total value we need not simplify because it is given in the question as minus 150. So we will simply write minus 150 is equal to minus 550, correct? Now you just simplify it, open the bracket, so it becomes 20a plus 190d is equal plus, this sign becomes plus, plus 150 is equal to 5. Minus 550. Be very careful about the signs, students. You need to take special care. Whenever you go to the next step, revise the previous step. Okay, this will help errors to minimize. So next we can see just simplify and we can see that it becomes 20a plus 190d is equal to minus 700. And we can cancel one zeros from each, like divided by 10. So it simplifies to 2a plus 19d is equal to minus 70 okay this is our equation 2 so we have already one equation that we have already derived this is the second equation and we have two variables a and d now we can find it out very easily what is a and d so just i'm taking the substitution method or you can subtract also here if you subtract here you can get here just to subtracting you can get here this 40 minus 30 plus 70 here you can get um, to a 0, right? 2a, 2a cancels and here it becomes minus 10d. Okay? So, you can from this you can find out what is the value of d. d is minus 4. Now, you can substitute this value of uh, d into any of the equation. I have chosen this equation 1 and you find out that minus 30 is equal to 2a plus 9 times minus 4. Okay? That gives you the results of simplification just minus 30 is equal minus 30 plus 36 is equal to 2a that means 6 is equal to 2a or a is equal to 3 so this you have got the value of a and you have got the value of d okay so what is your series now so this is the first term this is the common series common difference is first term is 3 next term is 3 minus 4 that is minus 1 right 3 minus 4 is minus 1 next minus 1 minus 4 that is minus 5 right and next term is minus 5 minus 4 that is minus 9 and so on so here you get the series this question is very very important please keep into your mind practice yourself questions for the future okay students we have come to the end of today's class and uh, i hope that you have understood the basic concepts how we can approach challenge questions and uh, you have also performed one small activity which would help you to clear your concepts much better and so in the next class we will do we'll start the geometry with the circles thank you very much for watching stay safe